morning, everybody. This is Mark. I want to address uh, something I get a lot of questions about. And one of the things I get a lot of questions about, especially in the Cirrus, uh, because we operate all the Cirrus is Lena Peak, or most people operate in Lena Peak, is um, what to do when your cylinder temperatures, uh, cylinder temperatures are getting hot on the Lena Peak side. So um, I'm going to go through with the engine page. I'm going to start Richard Peak. I'll show you a lean. I'll start to lean from Richard Peak here, and then I'll bring it back Lena Peak, and we'll watch what happens with the with our uh, EGTs and cylinder. I'm in a turbo normalized aircraft right now, so right now you can see we're burning uh, 31 gallons an hour, 31.2. Uh, so you can see where our CHTs and EGTs are at right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean it back to about uh, 29 gallons an hour here. And I want you to watch what happens to all my temperatures. Right now we're on the rigid peak side. If you notice, all of our temperatures are rising. So very slowly, but I'll lean it back just a little bit more. You can see EGTs are rising, CHTs are a little bit slower to rise, but you'll see them start to creep up as well. So by leaning on the Ritchie Peak side, temperatures went up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it back to the blue line, be around 17 and a half gallons. And this puts us on the Lena Peak side and the, uh, or in the uh, turbo normalized. Alright, so we're going to give it just a minute here to stabilize. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're on the Lena Peak side, we're at 17.8 17 gallons per hour. I'm going to reduce it to 16 gallons per hour. And I want you to watch what happens to my temperatures. We're operating on the Lena Peak side now. Alright, so on the Lena Peak side, notice when we lean, if you look at the EGTs right now, the EGTs are dropping. If you watch the overhead temperatures, they're also dropping. A half a gallon an hour will give you about a 15 degree decrease in your CHTs. If you're trying to get your CHTs down and you're on the Lena Peak side, you want to lean the engine out. Like I said again, uh, about a half a gallon an hour gives you about a 15 degree decrease. Just remember the CHTs are going to take a couple minutes to actually decrease. As you can see, the Richard Peak side, if you lean it, temps go up. The Lena Peak side, if you lean it, temperatures go down. And this applies to any aircraft that you're operating, Rich or Lena Peak.